Hi, I'm Eva, Adam's friend. Do you know what laces fair, anarcho-capitalism, and the principles of the minimal state mean? No? That's what we're going to talk about today. Laces fair is the principle of government non-interference in the economy. There is a story that the French finance minister Colbert in the 17th century asked a group of merchants how the government could help them with their business. They allegedly replied, Laced news fair, leave it to us. However, what the government is usually doing contrary is best summed up by President Reagan's bon mot. Government's view of the economy could be summed up in a few short phrases. If it moves, tax it. If it keeps moving, regulate it. And if it stops moving, subsidize it. But the slogan laces fair is often used against classical liberals. The opponents say that the market cannot solve everything. Well, no classical liberal has ever claimed that free markets are the answer to every conceivable question. However, market approaches can achieve distinct improvements in areas where the state and politicians have so far failed. Classical liberals grant the state the role of rulemaker and arbiter in the playground of private enterprise but they refuse to allow the state to be referee, player, coach, fan, sponsor, or god on the field at the same time. Rather, the goal of classical liberalism is to arrive at a social system in which property rights are respected as much as possible. Such a system is called capitalism. This term is often demonized, and there is a myth that classical liberals only defend the rights of business owners. Nothing could be further from the truth. Capitalism means that only those who best meet the needs of the other will succeed, without being helped by the state with privileges, and consequently without being loaded by fanciful obligations, unnecessary taxes or regulations. Classical liberals are in favor of the so-called minimal state. Robert Nozick says that a minimal government is one whose interventions in the economy are sufficient to maintain organized economic activity. The duties of a minimal state should include, at most, providing for the police, the judiciary, and the defense of the nation. These interventions are necessary to protect property rights and enforce contractual agreements. The minimal state also needs a minimum of taxes to function, given that it focuses on only a minimum of activities. It does not take money from citizens and businesses, but neither does it provide them with all of today's range of public services. It leaves the provision of those services to the entrepreneurial spirit of the people. Anarcho-capitalism goes even further. While classical liberals talk about the minimal state, anarcho-capitalists argue that the minimal state always tends to grow into the maximal state. They therefore propose that all the functions of the state should be left entirely to the private sphere. The anarcho-capitalist ideal is a society based entirely on the contractual freedom of the people, in which there would be no coercion by any government. However, as we can see, we are quite far from these ideals today. So, enjoy yourselves, and if you like classical liberalism, tell your friends about it. Bye.